on Windows 11, when you delete files, they are not removed immediately from the drive. Instead, they are marked for deletion and stored in the recycle bin. You can restore the files if needed. The files in the recycle bin are not kept forever. Depending on the drive size, Windows 11 will reserve a small percentage to store deleted files. Once the maximum storage size for the recycle bin is reached, Windows will automatically delete the oldest files permanently to make space for newly deleted files. You can adjust the recycle bin's default settings to change the maximum storage size and increase or decrease the number of files kept in the bin. Right click on the recycle bin icon on your desktop and then select properties from the context menu. Note that in case you have multiple hard drives, partitions or an external hard drive connected to your PC, every single location will have its own recycle bin and settings. The recycle bin and their storage available are listed here. But even though each drive has its own recycle bin folder, the contents of all the folders are combined and displayed in the normal recycle bin view. So you will see all your deleted files in the recycle bin no matter where they come from. Files deleted from drives C and D are listed here. Since each drive has its own recycle bin folder, you have to set the storage capacity for each drive separately. The default maximum storage size of a recycle bin location is about 5% of its space available. In the recycle bin properties window, select a drive listed in the box and click on the custom size option. Enter the maximum size to specify the amount of space the recycle bin can use in megabytes. 1 GB is equal to 1024 MB, which means if you want to reserve 5 GB, you need to specify 5120 megabytes. Enter the value you want, click on apply and OK to save the changes. Once you complete the steps, the recycle bin will store deleted files until it reaches the maximum capacity you specify. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.